The problem I've got is that I put up this uh, antenna and the guide point is kind of buried in here somewhere and I can't maintain it. I can't see the quality of the knot at the bottom. We need to change things. Pick up. Pitch, pitch. Where's the ball, Django? Come here. Stop. You join me as I'm digging holes. Wendy's the cameraman today, chaps. Say hello to Wendy. Hello. <laughs> Is it a cameraman or a camera woman? Camera person. A camera person. All right. Oh, I'm at the right height. Thank you, Wendy, you can stop now. I've already measured it. I'm cutting this at 1.6 meters, which is about there. It's got to go two foot, 60 centimeters in the ground. And that'll be really hot on the top, of course. So what's gonna happen? Wendy, if you'd like to come with me, Hmm. Boom. It's a bit too high, I might have to cut the top off once it's in. I wanted it a bit lower. There's just no need to have it this high. It makes a good sound. I'll do that now or cut it afterwards. No. So getting these posts in the ground in just the right place, I've had quite an interesting... Well, problem. I thought I had a method, but I found a better, better method. So if my mast is in the middle of the field here, I measured, I got my tape measure, all right, and randomly I thought, well, I want a guy about, let's say, here, right? So I measured the tape measure, six and a half metres as it happens, and I just put a marker on the ground. And then I measured, I don't know, where, where is this going to end up, roughly? Then I measured six and a half metres that way, and I put another one in. Then I measured six and a half metres that way, and I put another one. Then I thought, oh, the easy way out of this is I'll put a tape measure um, here, because originally the tape measure was that way and i will just because it's a big long tape measure and i'll go to there i'll come to here and i'll come back to there and i'll lock it off if you know what i mean and all i need to do is walk these guy points up and down an arc which i had previously drawn with a bit of spray paint line marking paint by walking the guy point this way and that way you know, maybe it needs to go there, or maybe it needs to go there, just to get the right place. It took me bloody forever, and it really annoyed me. So afterwards, I come back home, and I thought, it's got to be a better way, all right? So um, I have actually found a better way, and I've found uh, this one here, equilateral triangle, uh, whatever, right? Um, I won't put that link in the description. You can find it yourself. But what they're saying, you can see on the screen here, is get two points. So my mast in the middle, okay? I've measured out six and a half metres there. Ooh, I've still got... A, oh, no, I think I can get... I think I can, I think I can do this. There's still a problem. I've just spotted another problem. And then what they're saying is measure your six and a half that way and you're six and a half that way. Problem is I don't, with this system, we don't know where the center is potentially. You'll see why in a minute. What it's saying is you get a, you get your tape measure from there to there and you walk around and you tr create an arc, you know, spray paint or whatever on the front. On the, and then you move the tape measure over here and you do the same. And where it intersects is your equilateral triangle. <laughs> the problem I've just realised is where is the centre? So what you'd have to then do, this <laughs> is quite funny, is draw a line, find a halfway point, and come in this way. Same there, come in that way. Same there, and come in that way, and there's your middle. Anyway, I got it working. Back to the field. Now... All right, put it upside down and I can measure it with my hand. So, 
there. The descriptions say, uh, fill the hole with water. Place the post in a hole. And then you tip in this stuff. Oh, it's probably need a knife for this. Oh, I've managed it. I think this is the fast stuff. That's spirit level. I probably need more water, that means going into the ossif. He says fill the hole to a third. But to be honest, it depends on how big the hole is. bubbles I'm just putting a level on to make sure it's not too off you know I bought too much so we can put a little bit more in I was considering concrete but it doesn't need much just to hold it and no more it's not like it's holding up a, you know, a, a steel tower. Just the guy off my DX commanders, you know. Uh, maybe. Just a touch. going off look Take here, splodge it up a bit. <laughs> it's not actually that strong, this you know, but it's strong enough for what we're doing. It's like not concrete strength, you know. Sorry, I might as well fill it up. Same with these ones. All right. I thought, well, I might as well almost go to the surface. Give it a few months and next spring it will probably try and grow in the middle a little bit, you know. I just got to get rid of this bloody earth now. I was hoping to put it back in the hole, but it won't go. Alright, so I've filled them to the top, a bit of topsoil, and that's fine. And they're lovely and solid as well, so it's nice. I thought I'd get some lifting eyes and strangely enough normally i buy threaded rod and then cut it but the the thread always i can never get the bloody thread right to screw a a thing on but anyway these are 60 millimeters which is i don't know how much in old money well that much look <laughs> you can see it and that should just be enough to go through a scaffold pole. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I've tried to drill a hole through a tube, 
I, I've always got it slightly offset and it really annoys me and I've been trying to think of a way of doing this but I've just been out to the field and if I stand with the mast straight in front of me I think I can get this fairly accurately. Let's do another one. I was going to do put two in, like 100 mil, four inches away from each other. But we can do that another day, can't we? So far I've managed to teach Django Ohm's Law and a power triangle and how to chew in, in an SSB signal. <laughs> now you might be wondering why I've got two lifting eyes to go through here because I've got a little antenna for instance I might want to put the other way so I just thought I'd double up on lifting eyes that's all. Not much of a tripod sorry you normally you are normally on the chair, but the chair is over there, I can't bother to get it. There should be enough thread in this. I've worked it out, maybe. <laughs> just, just enough thread. So they need tightened up, what can I use? I'll use a pair of drill bits. Oh, that's fine. So we've got the main guy, and that'll go straight up whatever mast I've got. And then we've got a backup guy if I want to put another mini thing, you know, over, over this way. Who knows? So that's what I've done. Anyway, I've ended up with three good guide points. The working load on these uh, eyelets about, well, it says 120 kilos, which I think is, um, it says here, 264, 250 pounds. There we are in American money. But that means I can have any DX commander. I can preload it and get all the guys, mark which guy's which, because there's going to be going to be a tolerance put it on the fence and it's really easy to swap it out. So I can put the 12 on the fence, I've got some hooks, bring out an 18, put that one up nice and quickly because I've got these fast connect, well it's covered in grass at the moment, but I've got these fast connect uh, grounding points I've put in. Next one in this series is building the 18 meter nebula. We get it all tuned up and uh, hopefully before CQ Worldwide, we'll strip it back down again and then build that uh, evolution Skylab Starduster thing that I've been uh, waffling about because that's been a year now since that was up. And I've been wanting to put these guy points in, you know what I mean, before we, we do it again because Django ran into the last set and if an animal, dog or anything like that, if they get tangled up in a rope, they generally run for it. So he pulled the whole thing down on the ground, snapped it. So there we are. And next video is coming up here that YouTube has decided is ideal for you and I've put a playlist underneath it uh, just for you. Bit of fun. All the best. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.